guys, this is Emily from Emily's Anthology and today I'm going to show you guys a really simple, really easy to create look for an everyday makeup. This is the overall look in which I played with a lot of peach tones just so it would kind of brighten up the skin and make you look really awake. And yeah, so this is what I came up with and I hope you guys enjoy watching the video. So I'm starting this look off with completely clean skin and what I want to do to get a bit of moisture going as well as to brighten up the skin a little bit is to go in with this UV under base mousse and this one is a Shumura one. It has an SPF of 35 and what it does also is that it helps to conceal your pores and I definitely need that. So I'm going to go in with one of the Shumura Pentagon sponges. So I just pumped out a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm using this sponge to pick it up and just pat it into the skin. Now this comes in two different colors, but I would definitely recommend getting the pink one just because it really does brighten up the skin tone. Okay, so I'm done with primer and now I'm going to move on to concealing instead of the foundation first and you'll see why in a little bit. The concealer I'm going to use is from Collection and it is their... The label has come off, but I think it's their Lasting Perfection Concealer if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just going to take a bit of it out on the back of my hand and the first thing I'm going to do is, with my clean ring finger, apply some of that underneath the eyes. And it's great to use your fingers for something like this because it really warms up the product and helps it melt into your skin. So while I'm at the concealing, because this concealer is a bit lighter than my skin tone, I'm actually going to do a bit of highlighting as well. Take a bit down the center of my nose as well as onto my chin and then in a little V shape underneath the eyes. And I'm using a Real Techniques buffing brush to kind of just buff that all in. So now that I've done concealing and highlighting, it's time to move on to the fun part. This is Shurimura's latest release. It is their Light Bulb Compact Foundation. Basically, this is a sister product to their Light Bulb Liquid Foundation. And it just looks like this. It comes in a little kind of egg-shaped compact. And what's so special about it is that it comes with this little applicator sponge which has an application side as well as a buffing side and I'm going to show you guys how to use it in a while. And if you guys remember, the light bulb liquid foundation actually did come with its own special sponge. So this one has its own one as well and this is how you use it. You take the sponge and just fold it in half and you use the spongy side, swirl it into the product and apply it in kind of dabbing and sweeping motions outwards on the cheeks and then on the T-zone you blend outwards on both sides and then downwards on the nose and then of course if you want you can just apply it to your eyelid area just to even out the skin tone overall and if I'm looking a little bit pale it's just the highlighter we're gonna come back and fix it later now with the sponge, you want to turn it over onto the other side. And what this does is it actually buffs out the product to create kind of a glow on your skin, which is the entire purpose of the light bulb foundation, basically. So you get a nice glow on your skin. Now, for the cheeks, what you're meant to do is, using this side of the sponge, just go in circular buffing motions. And then on the forehead, you're supposed to go back and forth in zigzag motions. And then just take that down the nose. You're going to have to deal with my ghostly face for just a little bit longer because I am moving on to the eyebrows now. I'm going in with the Hard 9 Eyebrow Pencil from Shuramura. And this is in the color Seal Brown. And I'm just applying that to my eyebrows. I'm just following the natural shape of my brows and adding just a little bit of thickness and a bit more of an arch. Now a little tip for you guys. When I apply my eyebrow powder or pencil, what I like to do is just lift that arch a little bit and that's going to give you a more defined arch that you can follow. And don't worry, once it comes back down, it just falls back into your natural brow shape. So that's the brows done and now we're going to move on to the eyes. Now for the eyes, I want it to do a really bright kind of peach toned makeup look and I'm going to be using from a Shurimura palette these two colors, this is just a matte white color and this one is a shimmery peach color. I'm going to start by picking up the matte white color and I'm applying that all over the lid. Just taking it up to the crease. Now 
Now once that's done, what I'm actually going to do now is pick up a little bit of this matte brown shade over here on the palette. And I'm going to just apply a very, very, very light wash of this color into my crease. I just want to do that because that will deepen my crease a little bit before I go in with that peachy color. Just blending with a fluffier brush to disperse the color a bit more. And then now I'm going to go in with that peachy pink color and apply that over the brown. Now the reason why I wanted so badly to do a peachy pink color in the crease is because warm toned pinks really do brighten up the skin and make you look much more awake. And then now I'm just going back into this little area here and applying just a tiny bit more of the brown eyeshadow. Just a little bit. And next we're going to go back in with that matte white color and just reapply to get the intensity that we want. Now when you're blending this white out, be really, really careful because you don't really want to mess with the intensity of the white closer to the lash line. Next, I want to go in and lift the eyes a little bit with an eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Shurimura, what is this, Calligraph Ink Eyeliner. I'm going to start off using the tip of this and apply it really close to the lash line. And then I'm also going to go in between the roots of the lashes. And then at the very edge, I'm going to extend that line out at the same angle as my lower lash line. And as you can see, you can get a really precise line with one of these. And just double back in on yourself. And fill in the gap. Next up, lower lash line. Now this is completely optional if you want more awake looking eyes or if you're someone with smaller eyes, then you can skip this step. Personally, I like eyes that are lined all the way. So I'm going to go in with this Shurimura pencil. This one is from the Takeshi Murakami collection, um, their 2013 holiday collection if I'm not mistaken. Excuse me, that's my phone. Um, and I'm going to line the lower lash line. And what I'm going to do is actually join it up with the eyeliner on the upper lash line. And then just line all the way through, hitting just inside the iris. Now I'm going to teach you guys a little trick about how to make your eyeliner look a little bit more intense. Layering black eyeliner on black eyeliner is the perfect way to get a really dark, intense line. So that's what I'm going to do for the lower lash line. I've already done the pencil eyeliner. And now what I'm going to do is go over it and... This is a really great um, eyeliner to do it with because the ink is really consistent and really thick but the tip is also thin enough so that you can get a really precise line. And I'm going to just line really close to the lashes. Taking any sort of smudger brush, I'm just going to smudge that eyeliner a little bit. Next what I'm going to do is pick up these two colors together on a little pencil brush and apply that into the inner corners of the eyes taking them into the lower lash line a little bit okay next are curling mascara and eyelashes and I will put all of those on and be right back so my lashes are on and now it's back to the skin now the compact that I used earlier from Shurimura it gave me quite a bit of coverage already and just in case you guys wanted to know if you do want something with a bit more coverage this one can be used wet as well so what you would do is you wet the sponge squeeze out the excess water and then apply it the same way that I did earlier and that's going to give you a much higher coverage and despite the fact that it does give you quite a high coverage it's not really heavy on the skin so I'm happy with that I'm not going to powder it I'm not going to add any extra concealer what I am going to do is move on to the blush next. Now what I want to show you guys is something actually quite interesting. This is from Shurimura and it is their Lip Tint in Gelato. I think you guys have seen this on my Instagram channel before. If you guys want to check out my Instagram channel, by the way, it is linked below. 
and I'll just put a little annotation here as well. So, with the lip tint in Gelato, what it is is a really cushiony kind of texture, and what I'm going to do is take out a little bit on the back of my hand and apply it with the Pentagon sponge as a blush. Now I'm using the color CR03. And just dab that product into the sponge first, and then I'm just going to pat it onto my skin. Now what I want to do for a more awake look as well is actually focus that product out here on the edges of my face. And what that's going to do is really lift the skin and add a bit of color as well. And then right underneath that, I'm going to press in the Sleek Contour Kit, minus the color Medium. And I'm using an angled contour brush for this. And I'm putting it quite high underneath the cheekbones. So it acts as kind of a little bit of a darker blush as well. So that's what the cheeks look like. And then finally, I'm going to move on to the lip color using the exact same lip tint in Gelato in CR03. That was a mouthful. I'm going to apply that straight to the lips. And then just blend that out with my finger. And then finally, keeping in tune with the whole peachy pink vibe of this look, I'm going in with a peachy lip gloss. This is the Bloom lip gloss in the color Tangerine, I think. It doesn't say on the packaging, but I'm quite sure it's tangerine. I'm just applying that to the center of the lips, both upper and lower. And that is the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this very, very simple tutorial. And I will see you guys in my next video where I'm going to show you how to create a little bit more of a glam look. So as always, if you have any questions or comments at all, just leave them in the comment box below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!